In today's video, we're going to be going over how to use the notes button within the Seesaw app or at app.seesaw.me. All right, so here I am in the Seesaw app. I'm going to press the plus button. You're going to see the note button that looks like a spiral notebook. I'm going to click that. Now, you can see that my keyboard has automatically popped up on my iPad. I'm going to shrink down my keyboard so I can show you the two buttons that are available. So the bottom right corner, I'm going to hide this keyboard. You're going to see two buttons, the record audio and the keyboard. So this would be a great place for me to either A, record some audio of me reading a book, giving an idea for some stories that I'm going to be writing later, anything that I'd like to submit to my teacher as audio, or for me to type up a summary, a quick response, an idea for a story, a short story, things like that with the keyboard. So let's start with the record audio. When I press the record audio button, it gives me a three, two, one countdown. This is where I'm recording the audio. At the top, you can see that I have up to five minutes so I can record my ideas, my response, anything that my teacher has asked me to do. When I'm done, I'm going to press the pause button. If I am in wanting to add more to this audio, I can press the microphone again, add a little bit more audio, pause it. If I'm done recording my audio, I'm going to press the top right corner, green check mark. Now you can see at this bottom, I have my audio. I can play it. This is where I'm recording the audio at the top. Pause it. If I'm not happy with that audio, I can also press this X to delete the audio. If I'm not happy with this, it's going to ask me if I want to delete it. I can say cancel or delete. If I would also like to add a typed story or a typed response, I can press the keyboard. Here I can type my story of things that I want to or my quick response or anything that my teacher has asked me to type up. Again, I can hide the keyboard on this bottom right corner. So if I'm happy with my note, I have my typed text or my audio or both. Top right corner, I'm going to press the green checkbox, which will submit this to my teacher, depending on how my teacher has set up the submittal process in this app. So as you can see over here in my journal, here is my story that if I touch, I have my audio and my text submitted to my teacher for her to look at. I hope this quick tutorial on how to use the note is helpful in your classroom.